right, Chris, let's do some opera. Um, we are doing this great giveaway with the uh, Knoxville Opera Company. They are presenting uh, Mano, or Mano. And um, here's here's what we're doing. We are asking three people to call each morning and sing to their beloved in operatic form a tribute. I love you dearly. You are my love. <clears throat> that doesn't sound very operatic. Let me see what I got here. Something like that. Some something along those lines. Anyway, so <laughs> call me now. I've, I got to line up three six five six eighty two fifty five one eight hundred nine five one eight two five five or pound ninety eight seven. It's been fun, and uh, I want to line up three, um, and we're going to do this now. Today's winner. I'm going to give you a twenty five dollar gift certificate to Paleo, so you will win something today, and you end up. As a finalist for the grand prize, which is tickets to the opera. So come forth, young people. Allow me to hear what you have. You love her. You love him. You want to sing to them and acknowledge your love. Do it now. 656-8255. 1-800-951-8255. Pound 98.7 is a free call for customers of U.S. Cellular. Ed is up first. Ed, welcome to the Triple H Morning Show News Talk 98.7, the news and talk of East Tennessee. Good morning, Ed. First question, Halloran. When you were singing that, did you hurt yourself? I did I did herniate some portions of my anatomy. Yes, I did. It is I, the bearded wonder. <laughs> Eddie. Hey, All winter right. coat is growing in. Okay, listen. I've got to do something because I've got nothing planned. So here we go. Thank you, Paleos and Halloran, for saving my high knee. Cause the love I have for my wife is out of sight. Ow. I, and I love you, Helen. Get it. Hang on. I pause to reflect. I have reflected. Let's move on to the next caller. Uh, Becky. Becky, welcome to the Triple H Morning Show, News Talk 98.7, the news and talk of East Tennessee. What do you think? Why do you think it? Oh, who, who, for whom will you be singing? Michael. Uh-oh. Tell me about Michael. He's the love of my life. How long has Michael been the love of your life? Well, we dated um, 38 years ago, and then seven and a half years ago, um, I saw him at a friend of ours, uh, a mutual friend of ours uh, funeral on Christmas Eve when uh, we went to a funeral. Uh, their son had been killed in a car wreck, and I saw him, and he had that beautiful grin, and so I'm so blessed to have him in my life. Mm. And he's been in my life, back in my life, like I said, seven and a half years ago. He's a wonderful man. All right. Well, Becky, go ahead. <laughs> well, I, we, we can't wait to hear. Neither can we. Uh, th- okay, hang on. Hey, <laughs> hang, on. <laughs> hang on one second. 
Or you only have two contestants this morning. Uh, before we finish our judging, if you want to call right quick, uh, it's going to be one of these two people. Um, okay. Uh, I admire the courage. 656-8255, 1-800-951-8255, pound 98.7 is a free call for customers of U.S. Cellular. This is this is a, a, a dilemma because one sounded like a wounded beast and the other sounded like they were caught in a trap somewhere and needed help real fast. Maybe some machinery had got them. And they were stuck in machinery and couldn't get help. They're out in the barn, and maybe they got the hand caught. I in, admi- in I admire the shot. courage. That's what I admire. People They're who both go very courageous. I'm going to do this. I don't care what people think. I'm in love, and I don't care who They're knows it. Very courageous. I'm in very, love. Very, very courageous. So, and, you and know what it, I also think? I think it hurt the phone system. I th- I thought about a couple of things as Ed and Becky made their presentations this morning. I thought. Multiply that by about seven drinks, and what would it sound like? One, number two. Well, I won't give you number Boy, two. Boy, that would be, <laughs> yeah. You know what? No, I get not. Chris, I Chris, uh, do we have two contestants? Is we that have what Tom. We got three. We got oh, Tom. One more. Tom is oh, I can't wait. Tom, welcome to the Triple H Morning Show. For whom will you be singing this morning? Oh, my lovely wife, Kim. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you well, honest, did you honestly just try to use a Barry White voice on the radio? Did you I, no, do that? No, 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 no. Because no. you were like, um, she's like, she's like, I'm my wife up till today anyway, so maybe she's not listening. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how long have uh, how, how long have you been married? Thirty five years. All right. One thirty five wonderful years. Let me put it that way. All right, go ahead and sing for her, Tom. All right, here it comes. It's got to be opera style, right? Yep. Okay, here it comes. Forever and a day, I want to be with you. Forever and a day, I'll do the best I can do. Darling, with me. I want you to stay in my arms and let me love you just forever and a day. There you go. Okay. Hang on one second, Tom. We need to process this. What is that song, um... Oh, man. Larry, is it Larry Graham? A one in a million. He had a little bit of that going on. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Love is played. Do you have Larry Graham? Can you play just a little bit of that? Started to believe. Not that version. Not this one. That's that's not me playing Don't play your version, Chris. That was Dave. No, I've got this one. Who has that version? This is one in a minute. That's too fast. That's it. Is that the original? That's it. Yeah. Said you can win. I don't know. When I was younger, his voice did not sound like it had a Leslie Speaker trapped in it. When I was younger. Well, that's. That's, okay. That's All right, let's because guys, your need... voice sounded like this when you were younger. All right, let's uh, let's Hello, make a decision, uh, guys. Uh, we have Ed, Becky, and Tom. Uh, let me start with uh, Pastor David Earlfall. I uh, first off, Ed was Ed was very passionate in his, and so was Peggy. Peggy made me very Becky. passionate. She made me passionately Becky. want to turn my Becky. Becky. She made me want to turn my headphones down. And uh, what's the third guy? Tom. Tom. Tom did pretty good. He could have had that uh, going. Okay. I don't know. So it's between Becky and Tom. Ed is out for you. Ed Ed did okay. I mean, I don't know. Let's go to Chris. I think I think Becky would be really good to help take care of Dave's piggy problem. Kind of like a Pied yeah. Piper thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, she 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 draws the animal instincts out of a lot of people. <laughs> That's, but uh, but the know. passion was there. Yeah. The passion was there. So my... I'm I, down to Tom and Ed, though. Really? I'm down to Tom and Ed. Okay. Um, For me, I... Yeah, I think I'd have to go Tom and Ed because Peggy... See, there's something about people willing to embarrass themselves for their love that's just appealing to me. Just like... I don't. I don't care that I'm not sounding good. My point is, I'm willing to put it all out there to show my love. Grab dinner for my beloved. You're probably that guy you, who you know lets people saying? sing yeah. in your choir just because their heart is right. Oh hell no! We're not. <laughs> you don't think she could maybe? <laughs> no, sing life is like a mountain railroad no. in your choir. I didn't say we're not auditioning for a choir. I don't. So you wouldn't let them do the no, praise and worship segment at your church? I don't. Church. I don't play when it comes to music and musicians. Now we're doing it professionally. No, absolutely. You might tell not. her to sing a little less enthusiastically, right? <laughs> I'm the guy that would get kicked out of church for saying we better get this damn choir. Right. <laughs> no. You can't cuss at church, Pastor. <laughs> I know. Sorry. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> But, so that's, that's like that. Uh, that's a whole different thing. Oh man! So Mark we, Twain we, wrote a piece said heaven must be a hell of a place because all those people can't sing down here. We got to make a decision. Spin the wheel. I'll make the call. Yeah, you make the call this morning. Wow! And now the fickle wheel of fortune stops, and we'll hear the ding when it comes to a halt. There it is, Halloran, the winner. The winner today is Tom. All right. Tom. That low voice kind of uh, Tom? turned you on there. Hey, how about you? What do you think of that, Tom? Hey, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on in the choir, though. <laughs> Please, let me sing in the choir. In the choir. <laughs> Well, Tom, we've got a $25 gift certificate to Paleos for you, right. and uh, we got a seat for you in the choir. Tom's torp is still right. singing on it. Listen to it. Hold on for a second, Tom. we got to get your information. Becky and Ed, thank you very yeah. much for participating and being great sports. And Tom we got Torp one final time to do this tomorrow, and then we'll pick our winner for the week, which is, <laughs> which is great. He tore his phone up. Tom had a great attitude. He just couldn't stand it. Oh, yeah. Well, they all do, and I, th I wish we could give them all.